from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons. Today I have my special guest, Katie Byrne, a balloon artist extraordinaire all the way from the DC area from Beltway Balloons. She has come out to help us and to teach us a lot of cool things and just to be like one of the most awesome assistants ever. I, you know I gotta hand it to my whole crew here. But, uh, but since we're working on this and Katie's the one on camera right now, let's talk about her. All right, we are going to make an under the sea photo frame. You guys have been asking for the photo frame, here it is. And so Katie came to help and help me show you guys how to do this. And this is gonna be so much fun. Shall, shall we do it? I think so. I think we should, let's, let's do, do it. it. All, All right. right. So to start with what we've got going on here is we've got some, uh, some lamp bases. All right, just simple lamp bases. And we've got uh, a little PVC tea, uh, tea piece here and a piece of PVC right here. It's about five feet. And here we've got some little tea, uh, PVC elbow connectors. And here we have another piece of PVC, which is the same as this one. And actually, we just went to the hardware store and took one 10-foot piece of PVC and said, could you please cut this in half for us? And they did. So here's what we have. All right. And we're going to make the style of picture frame using the 260s spiraling around. And I'm going to turn it over to Katie, who's going to show us how she does it. All right. So we're going to start with duplets of 260s. So we're going to tie two 260s together, and we're going to turn it into a quad. Just like that. I find it easiest to wrap it all around as one big spiral. So what I'm going to do is take two pieces and I'm just going to sort of wrap them around the frame and then wrap them around each other. So now I can let go and this thing is holding on on its own. So what I'm going to do is sort of take them in two and this really takes a little bit of practice and we're just going to rotate it and you're just creating a spiral as you go. Whacking you in the head. So I'm sort of doing two in the front, two in the back, and creating a spiral as I go. Once I get to the top corner, I'm going to tie two of them together, just wrap them around each other, so that they stay put. Then I'm going to take another one and wrap it around that same junction. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the last one. So now those aren't going to go anywhere and we can move on to the next 260s and keep our spiral going. So once again, wrapping them around each other and then I'm going to create a spiral all at once. We'll come back and get rid of these pieces at the end. All right. And while you do that there, I'm going to do this one right here, the way that I do it, which is a little bit different. And you see both methods totally work. All right? And so what I do is I twist up two of them first. And then wrap it around. And secure it. That piece might not have been taken down. <laughs> and then follow the curve and just keep wrapping those around. This looks to be about the halfway point, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here and twist them all around each other. We're going to cover up all these mechanics at the end. Wrapping them around each other. Right, when she works on the top, I'm going to take the bottom down here. Always remember to really solidly tape your connectors on. Then you won't have uh, 
the issues that we were experiencing. All right. What now, Katie? Well, in order to hide all of our mechanics, all of these ugly parts, all of the bits of 260 and the corners and the PVC frames, we're going to use five inch rounds. And we're going to, I would say these are about three and a half, four inches. You want them a little bit squishy because we're going to shove them on here to hide all of this stuff. There's really no science to it. It's just shove. You may want to cross them in the back to make sure that they're on there tightly and they're not going to fly off when people are trying to get their picture taken. All right, so you could leave it like this, but we want to like totally like jazz it out and make it like you know, really fun the uh, to make it the um, under the sea. Under the sea, yes, to make it the under the sea frame. So, what we're going to do is add some little elements like an anchor. Anybody got my sticky tabs? And if you want to know how to make the anchor, go check out the anchor video on my YouTube channel. And a little seaweed island. And guess what? That's on my channel too. <laughs> or you can find these in the DIY balloon birthday Bible. There's another little seaweed island there. And uh, oh, wait, what did I do? Why did I do that? <laughs> And we got a little, little fishy here. So I mean, here's like all the fun about it, right? I mean, there's like, there's like no rules. You can just like totally get creative and have fun. I'm going to make a little octopus here real quick. To make the octopus, we are going to take four 11, uh, four 11 inch 260s. <laughs> it is late. We're going to take four 260s and we are going to just um, fully inflate them, give them the good burp, and twist them together. Then we're going to take a, uh, an 11 inch balloon inflate it to any size and twist that right on there. We're going to take some eyeball balloons that are five inch balloons, blow them up pretty good and put them on two. And now we're going to kind of, we want to kind of curl his, his little octopus legs. So we're just going to kind of gently, gently put a little curl in it like this, put a little bit of pressure on it so that it kind of gives us a little bit of interesting texture. So it's not just like, Ugh! Let's see. Where should this go? Where do you think, Katie? Right there? Maybe yeah, up there. Or maybe like spot? right up here? I don't know. Where should he go? I think he would look great there. I think so, too. You bet. Um, oh, there's, the, my, there's my stick tabs. You can hold those for me. Certainly. Too. He's jumpy. He is. He's an octopus with places to go. so cute. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> and uh, yeah, toss those over there. So this is, yeah, come on in. This is the photo, uh, photo, the under the sea photo frame. And like, what an awesome thing is this to take pictures with your BFS, right? Okay, so if you like, wait, do you have your phone? We should like, you know, take a selfie. We should take a we selfie. We should. Oh, well, we'll phone. take a selfie later. We will. Maybe somebody will take a picture of it. Can you? Okay, so um, anyways, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, click like on the video, 
and leave me a comment. Tell me, what do you like? What else do you want to see? You know, I'm making a video every single week, like every single week. That's a lot of videos. So what else do you want to learn how to make? And until next week, you want to do it with me? All right. Go for it. Ready? Go forth and balloonify! Say goodnight, Gracie. Good night.